spoken poetry is surrounded by clouds of glory, but before that, we make sounds, the sounds of infancy and childhood, and this is an ode to this period of our lives. It's called Before Poetry. Kakiga, that's what my brother, age two, said. Kakiga was chewing gum. This was before Lady Gaga, before people went gaga, before go-go dancing. That's what he said. This was before people were cocky, before American Idol, before Donald Trump, before Jerry Springer, before Dirty Dancing. This was cocky before Howell, before they arrested Lenny Bruce. Wawa, that's what he said. Wawa was water. Then he said, ha, ha was light. Wawa, was he thirsty? Wawa was water. This was before the sky. What is water? Are we water? Does water want us? What is light? Water is invisible. Light is invisible. Do fish see water? Do we see light? Ha! Ha ha! This was before Longfellow, before Hiawatha, before Evangeline, before Princess Minnehaha. Long before this, I said, Imami. Imami was ice cream. This was before haagen before Rocky Road. Imami was what Eve gave Adam before tonsils, before Adam's apple, before the snake. In the beginning, there was Wawa. In the beginning, there was Ha. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of going to the 4th of July picnic and barbecue, I stayed home and wrote a poem, and this is the poem written from the point of view of a two-year-old child. It's called, What Johnny Sticky Fingers Thinks, Two Years Old, on the 4th of July. <laughs> Jesus, that's what they all say when they're upset. Here come the aunties with that red glue on their lips. They're going to splatter my cheeks with it, and their legs are so fat and their arms and here come the bratty cousins with their thick necks. They're going to fling me in the air. They think I like this. Hope I don't spit up the white stuff like last year splattered the potato salad. But they probably forgot. Now they talk and talk how the contractors, whoever they are, never come back. This really gets on their nerves. And the blacks and the browns are coming over the border, but the crackers will shoot them down. Now they're barbecuing the brown pipes and that looked like the doo-doo that mama likes me to do. But why did she screech when I smeared it on the sheet and on my face? That was so much fun. Now they're sticking the brown pipes in their mouth and chomping on flesh that looks like my thigh. Maybe they'll fry me next year when they feed me more and I get a little thicker. And here come the firecrackers to crack my drums, something to do with the birth of the nation. But I better start screeching to mama. I feel a doo-doo coming on. <laughs> <laughs>